everybody welcome to my youtube channel where we talk about things that help us grow we talk about things that help us to develop and to stay the course and not to quit we talk about nuggets that help us stick to the process and not give up uh, here we aim to encourage to motivate and to inspire you with the word of god so that your faith is strengthened and when your faith is strong you can freely live your best life it's a life that god intended for you to live today's topic is the power of serving others we are blessed to be a blessing no matter what season of life you find yourself in you've got something to give no matter how hard life gets you can still be a blessing to other people Saving others can be incredibly powerful. It fosters connection. It builds trust. It can lead to personal growth and a sense of purpose. Being a blessing to others through acts of kindness, support, and positivity can bring so much joy and fulfillment to both the giver and the recipient. I believe with all of my heart that God wants us to be a blessing to our generation. He wants us to live lives that will live a lasting legacy when we are gone. I am reminded of a woman in the Bible by the name of Tabitha. That scripture is found in Acts 9, 36 to 41. I'm going to read it all. At Joppa, there was a certain disciple called Tabitha, which is translated to Dorcas. This woman was full of good works and charitable deeds, which she did. But it happened in those days that she became sick and died. When they had washed her, they laid her in, the, in an upper room. And since Lida was near Joppa and the disciples had heard that Peter was there, they sent two men to him, imploring him not to delay in coming to them. Then Peter arose and went with them. When he had come, they brought him to the upper room. And all the widows stood by him, weeping showing the tunics and garments which Dorcas had made while she was with them. But Peter put them all out and knelt down and prayed. And turning to the body, he said, Tabitha, arise. And she opened her eyes. And when she saw Peter, she sat up. Then he gave her his hand and lifted her up. And when he had called the saints and the widows, he presented her alive. Tabitha lived a life of service. She was such a kind and generous soul that when she died, people were heartbroken and telling of her good deeds and God in his compassion raised her back to life as Peter prayed for her. The woman was something. The widows that she blessed were not ready for her to go. That's the life that, you know, I aspire to live. And I hope you do too. To be a blessing to other people. And, and that's my encouragement for you today. You were born with purpose. You were born with gifts and talents that God wanted you to use to serve your family, to serve your workplace, to serve your community and the world at large. I was having a conversation with friends, <clears throat> sorry, not long ago, and we concluded that God wants us to work and to serve others. There is no time to be lazy. We ought to be hardworking and wise like ants. I love the scripture from Proverbs 6, 6 to 11. It says, go to the ant, you sluggard, consider her ways and be wise which having no captain, overseer, or ruler, provides her supplies in the summer and gathers her food in the harvest. How long will you slumber, O oh sluggard? When will you rise from your sleep? A little sleep, a little slumber, a little folding of the hands to sleep. So shall your poverty come on you like a prowler and your need like an armed man. You know, these are lessons from the ant when I thought about it. Number one, ants are driven by a purpose. Number two, ants work as a team. Number three, ants know when to work and when to rest. Number four, ants think big. Number five, ants prepare ahead of time. And number six, ants know their limits. And finally, number seven, ants serve one another. Let's determine more than ever to live a life of purpose and to let God lead us in our daily endeavors to make use of every opportunity we are given and not miss any moment. 
Saving others is important for several reasons. Number one, it fosters connection. Saving others helps, you know, build meaningful relationships and connections with people as it often involves acts of kindness and empathy. Number two, it promotes empathy. It allows you to understand and to relate to the needs and struggles of other people, promoting empathy and compassion. Number three, it strengthens communities. Acts of service can strengthen communities by bringing people together to address common challenges and to work towards shared goals. Number four, personal growth. Saving others can lead to personal growth by developing skills, values, and a sense of purpose. Number five, it leaves a legacy. Acts of service can leave a lasting legacy by, you know, inspiring others and making a long-term impact. Number six, it improves well-being. It has been shown to enhance one's own well-being and happiness as helping others can be so fulfilling. We are blessed to be a blessing. And it's good to know that happiness and fulfillment are really found in serving others. Well, thank you so much for watching. And I hope you have been blessed. And if you have and you haven't subscribed yet, please click the subscribe button. In here, we just kind of promote the word of God. We promote positivity and just uh, for us to be a blessing to our community, our generation while we are here because we have a purpose and God is with us and he will help us to do so. Thank you so much for your time and I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now. Bye.